leopard skin trim is from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. He's a Lolenga Mock. He's now 31 years old, and for the last six months he's been based in Grena in Denmark. He's normally well, a light heavyweight, and he's stepping up against a man who is a genuine cruiserweight, and indeed was a fine amateur as a heavyweight. David Hayes is an exceptional talent, as we know, and he's still learning his trade. He's still got lots to learn, but, you know, I just can't help but get carried away with this kid. He's got such quick hands, and he carries such power in the right hand. When he landed that right hand, he glanced over Mock's shoulder just to somebody in the audience with a certain element of uh, disdain. There's a big smear of uh, Vaseline on the cheek of David Hay. I think that's where we come off the glovers of, of his opponent. And already you can see that the Lenga Mock is uh, rather wary of the power of David Hay. He looks in great shape, just a couple of pounds over the cruiserweight limit. That was a lovely round the corner, right hand. And Lenga Mock, who has never been stopped in 28 professional contests, takes an eight count in the opening round and that without a single shot of a doubt and we're not halfway through it is going to ensure a 10-8 round for uh, David Hay all in black from Bermondsey had a first round stoppage last time out in Chesterfield with Chesterfield's Greg Scott Briggs I should say in the York Hall and he's going about the Lenga Mock with rare purpose David Hay's going to take some holding over the six in the eight round distance he really is I don't know if there's a guy in the country right now who will beat him over that and I would include in that the current British cruiserweight champion. Hey, those hands of his held characteristically low but it's the speed of his punches and the power of his punches that really have uh, disposed of all six opponents so far. Boxed two contests ago in the Playboy Mansion in Beverly Hills and then came back to the York Hall in Bethnal Green. Doesn't care where he boxes or how often he boxes and he says bring them all on if he had to fight ten times before Christmas he would around the corner left from Hay looking pretty impressive nasty clash of heads and Mock got himself caught well as they say in boxing Lulenga Mock has certainly come to fight or perhaps more accurately Duke he's come to brawl well he's, he's, he's physically very very strong he doesn't want this young kid to show him up he doesn't want this young kid to out jab him there's only one way for Mock to win this fight and that's to get in and rough David Hay up take him out of his stride try and do something different try and do something that none of his his previous six opponents have done well locker won his first 17 contests back at home he's been backward and forward between africa and the continent of europe ever since with that limited success and i think you must be wondering what sort of a guy they've given me tonight with david hay looking particularly impressive and uh, adam booth and mick williamson who's doing the cuts in the corner will be equally impressed with that opening three minutes from David Hay, not even bothering to sit down. It would be interesting to see if, if David Hay could go a few rounds. That's what he needs right now, is to be able to learn his trade. You know, let's see, it would be great if he could do the eight rounds distance, but that's not what he's looking for. Well, it was a lovely sideways movement by David Hay, and he whipped that right hand in, kept on the pressure all the way through. Mock really starting to feel the power and staggered even those those some of those shots from Hay were not altogether accurate nasty little clash of heads and there was that right hand the second time and that really clattered into the side of Mock but he came straight back at David Hay and Hay will have to be careful he's obviously got the power but he needs just to uh, take his time round two so an opening round of 10-8 to David Hay, I'm quite sure on the scorecard of referee Mark Green against uh, Lolenga Mock from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. His nickname is uh, Lamumba Boy, and presumes after the former Premier Patrice Lamumba. It's nice to see that Hay has taken a definite step up in class in Mark. He's moved up to the eight rounds distance now, which is good. Good right hand from Mock was in there. This fella is pretty strong. He's not really a a cruiser weight he's more of a light heavy and indeed he is boxed at uh, super middle but he has the face of a, a man who's taken a punch or two in his time oh good right hand by david Hay. Mock took that flush mock moves quite well on the retreat as david Hay unleashed the, you know two or three punches there two of them actually missed where mock was concentrating on his defense which shows that he's got a good head on him I still have uh, certain reservations about the way David Hay carries that left hand of his. There was a right from Mock came over. Fortunately for Hay, it didn't land. 
Mock is coming forward all the time and he's making Hay work on the retreat. Good footwork from Hay. This really is the sort of contest that Hay needs at this stage of his career, Duke. I too would like to see David Hay get that left hand up a little bit higher because he's, as he starts to go through the rankings, the fighters are going to get that much better. They're going to read what he's doing with that left hand and they, they, they too will tee off with their right hand and counter that punch. Mock's quite physically very strong and he knows there's only way, one way to win this fight and that's to get as close to David Hay as he can and just keep punching. There's the right hand! Oh. Oh, he's going to react to that. He's wobbling. He is wobbling. Well, is this a sensation in the making? David Hay is up. He says, I'm all right. I'm not convinced. His eyes are rolling in his head. And Lalinga Mock has threatened to dethrone the golden boy of British boxing. And Hay has to hold on. Hay is in real trouble here. Mark Green has separated him. Hay's legs are still gone. This could be a sensational upset unless David Hay regains his composure. But look, he's not recovered. He hasn't recovered. He hasn't recovered at all. Down. He's hurt. He's then looks going for it. 20 seconds to go, David Hay will want this bell more than any other bell he's ever heard in his life. We said all the way through that that low left hand could be his undoing. Mock caught him, and Hay won Holmes will learn from that. Mock swings again with that vicious looking right hand. Hay has recovered, and I'm sure the corner will give him a roasting for that. But look where he was carrying his left hand, he was begging to get hit with it. As you stated earlier, Jim, the left hand was far too low. Mock must have read what you've said, and he's just found his right hand, landed flush, hurt the kid desperately. The best thing that could happen was that bell. Well, I'll tell you, the pot of gold nearly disappeared for David Hay. It was a, a clipping little shot and wobbled him. I think it caught him somewhere up around the temple. Let's have another look at that. Definitely caught him right on the temple. And he stood there and then immediately he suddenly wobbled and down he went. And the David Hay fan club on the far seconds. side of the ring could not believe it. And he was in all sorts of trouble. And this was the rather untidy bit of brawling and wrestling. And that allowed Hay to regain his composure. Now let's see what he does with that left hand of his. He's got to keep it up. Well, he hasn't. He's, uh, well, there's maybe six inches of a difference. And Mock will know, Mock will know, Duke, that if he hits Hay again with the right hand, this could be, well, a huge setback for Hay. I don't know what David Hay's thinking right now, but he's not thinking about boxing. He's come out exactly in this round as he did the last round. OK, we know that's his natural style, but when you've been hit and hurt, the first thing you're going to say to you is hands up, chin down. Good right hand from Hay. I remember this fella in almost 30 contests has never been stopped. Good body shot once again by Hay. Mock would have grown in confidence from landing that shot undoubtedly. And now he's looking to carry the fight to David Hay. David needs to get that left hand up and start popping home that jab. I get the feeling Mock is just feigning with that left shoulder of his to draw Hay in. And he's going to try to unleash that right again. Hay will have to be careful. Again, the left is ominously low. Hay's going to have to finish this, or maybe he'll decide to try to sit this one out. But either way, that will have given his confidence a huge dent. Und undoubtedly, David Hay has to get back to his box and get his box himself back into this fight. He was looking for the knockout and nearly got knocked out in the process. It might not do him any harm. Wild swings now from Hay. I still don't think, Duke, that he's got his rhythm back even yet. No, he hasn't got his rhythm back. I mean, there's nothing coming from him except hard punches. He's trying to knock this kid out with one shot, but his corner have told him, get back to your boxing, box your way into this fight. If you need to win on points, win on points. Stop looking for the knockout. Hey, certainly the faster and the stronger, but Mock at this stage is so, so determined. He threw the right again, he missed, and was very close to David Hay's whiskers. That right hand he just threw there, just missed him, just marginally missed David Hay. David needs to get that left hand up higher. Well, all the cruiserweights in Britain that David Hay has got in his sights will say, aha, there is a wee vulnerability there. Better round this by Hay. He's got back to his boxing. Still carrying the left hand, he's still waiting to get tagged. He's still carrying that left hand far too low. 
and you have to learn that you can knock everybody out straight away and there are guys who will come back and hit you Mark Grimace's good jab by David Hay into the face of this tough man from the Democratic Republic of the Congo who's come here and has very very has come very very close to causing well, one of the biggest upsets in a British ring this year better from Hay with a one-two combination he certainly exposed a chink in David Hay's armour tried it again Mark Hay was uh, wise to it good left hook from Hay that was better Mark is not going to go down unless Hay can tag him with three or four good solid shots better run by Hay and it was one that he really had to ease himself back into that was a run just to say I can stay in here but he, he needed to win that round and he's done just that he's got his confidence back Adam Booth nice and relaxed and that's great corner work not getting flustered at all despite the pressure his boxer was under good footwork by Hay there was seriously evil intent behind that right hand well there's the handsome grinning David Hay we know but I'll tell you that handsome Ten grin seconds. and a career was very nearly wiped off his face second down round four Well, this is scheduled for eight three-minute rounds. People were predicting that David Hay would get this man out of the way, as he has done with his previous six opponents. But Lalenga Mock has proved to be much, much tougher than the previous six put together. The most impressive thing about Mock for me is that isn't his attacking box, and he's quite good defensively. He's making it very hard for David Hay to nail him. He's not standing still for one minute. He slips and bobs and weaves quite well. It's a good learning fight so far for David Hay. If he's successful and gets to the end, he can go back and regroup. He would have learned more from his one fight than his six previous. Mark that battered, scarred face of his. Just a study in concentration. Better by Hay. There's the right hand again and again. He staggers. Not just as much. This is uh, very naughty by uh, Lolenga Mock. He really did throw David Hay to the canvas. Hay glances cornerward towards Adam Booth. He's showing no signs of panic. There's a little nick, I think, underneath the left eye of David Hay. And there's that left of his held very low again as that cup protector has risen up well above waist level. Mark Green's not too bothered about that. Psychological ploy there from Mock. Threw David Hay to the floor, trying to show him how physically strong that he is. Hay's waiting too long now. He needs to be popping that jab. He wants to make that kid eat the jab, double it up, treble it up, and then going behind the right hand. Well, this is further than uh, David Hay normally expects to go. We're coming up to the midway point. In fact, we're past the midway point in the fourth round. That's better by Hay. That uh, jab of his getting into the face. He needs now to deliver the right if he can. Good body shot by Hay. Little clash of heads. Mock again going for that over-the-top right hand, which caused Hay all the problems in round two. Well, you talk about a learning curve. I tell you, David Hay's had to learn quickly, and he nearly got caught again. Every time the right hand comes over, I mean, look at Mock, look at the determination on his face. He wants this knockout, he wants this victory. David Hayes in trouble. Mock is catching him. David, oh, lovely uppercut from David Hayes. That's the one that he caught Solis with. That's the other in the final of the World Championships. That was as good an uppercut as David Hayes has thrown since Belfast in 2001. Mock is down for the second time and he stopped it. Well, I'm amazed at that. I'm amazed at that. Mark Green has stopped it. He's had a look at the ring of Mock's eyes and he stopped it in the fourth. And I have to say, I'm really, well, at a loss to understand why Lolenga Mock can't believe that it has stopped. David Hay, to be very fair to the young fella, threw a lovely, lovely right uppercut and the referee was right on the spot and he must have seen something in the eyes of Lolenga Mock that prompted him to call it off but the crowd here don't like it at all the, the knockdown was absolutely well timed David Hay threw a beautiful shot knocked Malinga down he, I'm not so sure he was in a con, uh, position to continue the referee looks into his eyes and he looked a bit groggy however that was a stunning 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 uppercut and Mock was on his way down before he added the two or three little tip-tap right hands but Mock so determined 
coming forward all the time, missed himself for the right hand, and he left himself perhaps for the first time well open, and that was a classic uppercut, and Hay didn't have to do much more, and from then on, the referee decided that that was it, and amazingly, he said no more.